Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so excited to be bringing you God's truth. Let's pray. Father, we bless you today. You are God, and there is none else like you. We submit our hearts that you will guide us into all truth, Holy Spirit. Open our eyes to see and our hearts to understand. I declare today burdens are being lifted, yokes are being destroyed for ev from every listener right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. We are in 1 John. Thank you, Jesus. 1 John chapter 1. Now, we, we stopped at verse 7 yesterday. It says, but if we walk in the light as he, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another as we and him. And the blood of Jesus Christ is on cleanses us from all sins. Every sin. Now, when he says sin, he's not just talking about, oh, lying, fornication. That's not all that he's talking about. He's also talking about everything that doesn't look like God. Yeah. Everything that doesn't look like God, he's talking about. He says, you will be cleansed from every one of it. <laughs> How does this take place? When we walk with the light as he is. Now, sometimes you see the light and then you, you get on to the light. You know, just like sometimes you go to um, a church or a meeting and faith is being poured out. And then in that meeting, you feel so light. You feel, man, everything is just wow, wow, way, hey, hey, glory, karobo shaka. You, you are just excited, you know. And then you leave that meeting and then like reality dawns on you. You say, hmm, hmm, there's no food in my house. God, when will you answer me? When will you change my condition? See, now what did he just do? You saw him in the light. You approached him in the light, and then you came back. You are supposed to begin to relate with him from that point of light, and then relate with everything around you. Listen, let me tell you this. You fellowship with him, and let men experience your fellowship with him. Now, that is when you will come into the realm of miracles. So someone fellowship with the Lord. He is in some deep mess now. Everybody knows he's, some, he's in some deep mess. And then he goes before the Lord in his quiet place. And I say, Lord, how would you help me out of this situation? Then the word of the Lord comes. And the Lord says, I've rescued you already from this situation. Thank you, Lord. And he gets understanding from the word of the Lord. And he gets up from that place. He says, man. So what are you going to say? Relax. It's handled. It's handled. How did he handle it? He said, just relax. I said, it's handled. Hey, but, but we need to, hey, guy, it's handled. I said, okay. Yeah, it's handled. Because that's what you heard the Lord say to you. You now say to men, and behave like that. You don't finish having fellowship with God. Now, I'm telling you, this is what the fellowship is all about. The moment you begin to say to men, it's handled. It's handled. What I do? You are walking in the light as he is in the light. So what begins to happen? The blood of Jesus Christ begins to cleanse, cleanse that thing. Until physically everyone will see that. Wow. Truly, it has been handled. <laughs> yeah. He said, man, how did you know this thing was going to go like this? I knew. I knew. Why? Because I've got inside information. The Spirit of God spoke to me about it. Because I had fellowship with him. Let me tell you this. Men ought to begin to see your fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, what scares them, don't scare you. When they are talking, ah, have you heard, have you heard, have you heard? Say, heard what? 
This is about to happen. This is about to happen. Hey, you shall hear rumors of wars. But it's not going to come near us. Hey, is this close? Hey, it's not going to come near us. Because a thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand. But we will not be touched. Now, you're not saying this because you read it in Psalm 91. You are saying it because you have fellowshiped with him. You have seen him in that life. Now, this is why we are different. You know, someone declares it, it comes to pass. Another person declares it, nothing happens. This is the difference. The one that declares it and it comes to pass, have seen it. He has seen it. He's not just reading the Bible. He has seen it. So he's talking the word now. There's a big difference. And without this fellowship taking place in your life, your life cannot change. Your life cannot be better. Because, see, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How does your mind get renewed? It's not reading the Bible as, okay, mm, from now I'm not going to be saying I am sick again. I'm going to be saying I am well. No, if you don't see it, if you don't see that wellness, if you don't see him in the lights telling you that it is well with you, you won't see it in the physical because there is no fellowship. The fellowship is that you can't have fellowship with someone who's not responding to you now. Talk to me. See? You, you have a brother who's overseas, for example, and then you don't talk to him. You call him, he doesn't answer you. No, no mode of communication. And then, like, so what's, what's he going to do? You can't say what he's going to do because you don't know. You know you have a brother, yes. But you don't know what he's going to do. You don't know if he'll be willing to do because there is no fellowship. But when there is fellowship, then you can speak for him. Then you can speak on his behalf. And everything you say will be truth because you have heard from him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. So that's how, that's how the blood of Jesus Christ works. That's how he cleanses us from all sin. Now, watch this. It says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Now, this scripture is actually saying, if we say we don't need that fellowship, see, because sometimes people are like, eh, you know, you, know you, you, you are preaching the gospel to a rich man. And then you are telling me, you know, when you believe in Jesus Christ, he's going to bless you financially. He's going to make you rich. And then say, eh, guy, I didn't need Jesus. I didn't have Jesus and I made all this money that I've made. So what are you talking to me about? Talk to me about something else. Don't talk to me about riches. Because your Jesus didn't make me rich. And then you're, you're stuck. So what's the person saying? I don't need your Jesus if this is what he does. Because I've already gotten it. That's what he's saying. So now he's saying, if we say that we don't, we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Because when we say we have no sin, we're actually saying we don't need this cleansing. See? Because how does the cleansing work? It works by us being in fellowship with him. How do we get into fellowship with him? When we walk in the light as he is in the light. A fellowship takes place. And then the blood of Jesus Christ is, the, is what is released in our lives to cleanse us from that sin. Well, how does it cleanse us from the sin? He purges our mind from dead works. See now, he purges our mind because now that thing is in you and then you see him in the light. You grab that light and you begin to walk in it. Soon you will look at that thing that makes you fall, that thing that makes you sin, that thing that, you know, for example, you're in debt, you're in so much debt right now. You're owing a lot of people. Yes. And then you walk in the light as he is in the light. He, he opens your understanding to see how blessed you are. Now, this comes when you're hearing his word. Like, whoa, I never, wow, wow. And then he said, that's who I am. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Doors are opening up for me. And so, how are you going to pay the money you're owing? Hey, it'll be paid. Relax. Very soon it'll be paid. You know, they say, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish God would just bless me now. He just told you, you are blessed. See? 
The creditor may come and say, hey, my money. Say, relax. You know what? I'm working on some things and you will soon see that money. Said, okay, I'm giving you one week. No problem. And then you go before the Lord when he's gone. Say, Lord, I receive withdrawal. <laughs> I receive withdrawal right now to settle this debt. It will come. So where is it going to come from? It will come. It doesn't matter where it's going to come from. Jesus got money from the mouth of a fish one time. Jesus multiplied the five loaves and two fishes to feed over 5,000 people one time. Elijah multiplied bread to feed over 400 prophets that were in his house. Don't you understand? The person who served the bread said, Sir, this bread will not do. Because Elijah had told him, serve it, put it before the young men to eat. He said, sir, you want to cause trouble? Who will eat and who will not eat? He said, what do you mean? He said, it's, it's small. He said, thus saith the Lord. <laughs> that they will eat and it will remain. Huh? All right, let me obey the prophet. And then he served it. And they ate and ate until they were full. And the bread remained just like the prophet said. That's someone who had seen the light. And he was walking in the light. It was God that spoke to him first. Then he spoke to his servants. That is how it works. Praise God. So, so if we now say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. So, so we're saying, I don't need help. I don't need help. I'm perfect. I'm okay. He says, when you say that, you are deceiving yourself because, you see, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So what does that mean? That means, see, you need to have that fellowship with God so that you will receive words proceeding from the mouth of God and then you can now begin to live. Hallelujah. It will say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, this happens when you are walking in the light. That's why I say when, when, when you see the light that he has blessed you, when you see the light that he has healed you, but you're still feeling those symptoms in your body, accept the healing and walk in it. That's how you walk in the light. And then you can now tell him, say, Lord, I'm, I know I'm healed, but I'm getting uncomfortable with this pain. It should live now. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not speaking out of unbelief. Because now, see, he says, you are confessing, Lord, there is this pain in my body. It shouldn't be so. Why? Why shouldn't it be so? Because you've healed me. See your mentality now? Because you've healed me. It's not supposed to be so. Lord, there's this debtor, there's this, this, this creditor troubling me. It shouldn't be so. Why? Because you have blessed me. Are you seeing the mentality now? You have blessed me. And I walk in your blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, See? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. So if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So he gives his words to you to open the door for you to come in. And when you go in, a cleansing takes place. Now you come and say, I have never sinned. He said, you're making him a liar. Because he has said, I'm sending the blood of Jesus to cleanse you from all sins. Praise God. I told you, the sin is not just I lied, I cheated. I, no, 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 no. The sin is everything. The, you not walking in God's perfect plan for your life is a sin. It's a sin also. You not being in the place where God wants you to be is a sin. So when you come in and walk in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ is cleansing you from all that sin. Glory to God. Whoa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you being blessed? I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful day today. Bye-bye.